Something is wrong with me. For as long as I can remember, I've always felt empty, incomplete, like a part of me is missing. This hollow feeling has dominated my life. I've never been able to feel anything else. My world has always been cold, dark, silent. My mother was exactly like me when she was a child, but when she met my father, everything changed for her. He brought warmth and color and life into her world. He made her complete. She told me that one day, I'd meet someone special, just like she did. Someone who would cure me, fix me, save me. I've spent my entire life waiting for that day, dreaming of the moment when I'd meet the person who would complete me. It was the only thing for me to look forward to. It was my only reason to live. And then... One day, I found him. When I met him, something changed inside of me. My world was filled with color and light. It was like I had opened my eyes for the first time. I felt warm. I felt complete. I felt alive. He is my escape from the cold, gray, empty world I've been trapped in. He is the one I've been waiting for. The person I want to spend the rest of my life with. But someone is trying to take him from me. She wants him, but not in the same way that I want him. She could never appreciate him the way I do. She doesn't deserve him. He belongs to me. I have to stop her, even if it means hurting her even if it means killing her. There is nothing I won't do for him. I won't let anyone come between us. I don't care what I have to do. I don't care who I have to hurt. I don't care whose blood I have to spill. I won't let anyone take him from me. Nothing else matters. No one else matters. He will be mine.
He doesn't have a choice. Hey. Do I know you? I saw you stalking an upperclassman today. I'm sorry, there must be some misunderstanding. There's no need to play dumb with me. I'm trying to help you. Want some information about the girl he was with? I'm listening. Her name is Osana Najimi. She has a crush on him. She's planning to confess to him next Friday underneath the cherry tree behind the school. There's a myth that if you confess your love to someone underneath that tree, the person you confess to can't refuse. Why are you telling me this? I would be happy if something bad happened to Osana-chan. I think you might be the right person to give her what she deserves. Who are you? Have you ever heard of Info-chan? An urban legend about a girl who hacks people and sells their dirty secrets to the highest bidder. That's just the tip of the iceberg. I sell a lot more than just blackmail. Are you trying to tell me that you're Info-chan? Do you really expect me to believe that? I've installed an app on your phone. Take a look. How did you do that? That's not something you need to be concerned with. If you do a few small favors for me, I can offer a wide variety of services that should help you eliminate Osana-chan. Everything you need to know is in that app. And what if I don't want anything to do with you? If you're not interested in my services, I won't take it personally. Feel free to ignore me. But don't ignore Osana-chan. You have one week until she confesses to your precious senpai. Make her suffer. <laughs>